Hello, it's me, Jess Rona. Welcome to my shop in beautiful Los Angeles. Come on in. So when you first walk in, you run into this big old shelf full of goodies. One of the things we sell here is this brush and I went to Tokyo two years ago, three years ago, and I happened upon a dog show when I was there. And I saw this brush and I was like, oh, this is cute. And I took it home and I used it and I was like, holy cannoli, this is an incredible brush. I love that, the, that there's a hollow handle and it just glides through coats so easy and it's great for detailed work like armpits, faces, tails. So um, I asked this company, K-Pro, to ship it to us. So we just get boxes of them shipped to us and we sell them here for our clients. And I feel like most of our clients have this for their dogs. We also sell my book. Some people who are fans of the Instagram will come and I'll sign it for them and it's really, really cool. And in the back of my book is um, a blowout flip book where the dogs are blowing in the wind. Pretty epic. We also love Wild One. They have really adorable packaging. So we love Wild One poop bags and their holders. They also have these eucalyptus wipes that we sell to our clients. And most of these trophies, like these trophies down here are actual trophies from all of us who have placed in competitions for grooming. But then also I've discovered my love for vintage dog show trophies. So anytime I go to the flea market, I always pick up one of these. This one actually over here this one's my favorite. This is my favorite dog show trophy. I love it so much. When I saw it and I was like, oh, you're mine. You are mine. We have this really fun book called The Tale of Tales, and it's where people can pick out colors for their dog's tail. There's some cool names in here, like Lemon Lime Slush. Behind me is the one and only Phyllis. Phyllis uh, is a doll that she was made um, out of wigs. Her nails say Jess Rona, and she's in a bubble bath, and she's been in this bubble bath for about two years, and I hope she gets ready soon. And this is funny, because you guys notice this. There's a tiny little Scotty right here on the lock. Some people notice it when they leave. They'll go, oh, cute, and I feel seen and valued. This gate was custom made for me by, I don't know what his title is, a welder? He welds things and I told him exactly what I wanted and it's of course bronze gold which is my favorite but people say it looks like Disneyland. Here is where you'll find some of my collection of vintage dog art. So all of this is glued you can't move it but these are vintage shadow boxes I have two of them and I just love that I could put little dogs on shelves. There's just dogs on shelves everywhere all over the place. Um, this is our green couch. This is sort of like the Instagram couch. Everybody wants to take a picture. <laughs> Will you get her? So you can see we have our first model. So this is our front desk. This is Rachie. <laughs> Say hi, Rachie. Hi, Rachie. So this is where um, we check in clients. This desk I found on eBay for $99. I just typed it was in. Worth every penny. It was worth every penny. I'm obsessed with this desk. It's actually vintage from the 60s or 50s. And I just typed in vintage reception desk and this came up and it was local pickup only in a small town in Illinois or something. And so I just found a freight shipping company and I was like, will you please pick this desk up from this small town? And, it, and they did it for like 300 bucks and I got this beautiful desk. And that's her riveting story. That's my riveting story about this desk. And I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. I love the little detail. Why don't you marry it? Why don't you marry it? God damn it. God damn it, Rachie. She gets me every time. And then we have everything I wanted to do vintage, like all the little details. So even our treats are in this cute little vintage. Hold. I just love it. I just love it. I just... Love it. This is a door that completely opens so that I can use the whole room as a space. When I opened the shop, it was my dream to be able to host events here, adoption events, seminars, that sort of thing. So I thought instead of having just a counter where people can check in, why don't we have a big door that can be moved? Um, and actually groomer Jonathan David helped me discover that I should have a door like this. So the door's name is Jonathan. 
and at each station, everybody has a button because I had smart glass put onto this door. So if a client comes in early to pick up their dog, all the groomers have to do is push a button and then the dog, the, the window goes opaque and then the dogs cannot see their parents. Um, it was super expensive, but totally worth it. It was like eight, eight or $9,000. And it took me about a year to be able to afford to buy it, but it's so worth it. Game changer. We love it. Smart glass. So come on in and see the rest of the shop. So this is where we groom the dogs. So I scoured the internet. I went to every flea market I, I could find when I was opening my shop. And I just found all of this art, whether it was Etsy, eBay, the Long Beach flea market, the Rose Bowl flea market. I just traveled to every flea market because I love, I just love treasure hunting, especially when it's dog stuff. I have a grass patch here for dogs to go potty. We get it from Fresh Patch and they deliver it weekly. So it's just really easy to keep it clean. I love our wallpaper. It shows off my love for poodles and it's custom made. And it says my name in the bow. It says Jess Rona. And each design is inspired by designs from Elvis's wallpaper. He has poodle wallpaper in, at Graceland. And just general 50s art has been my inspiration. The inspiration for the style is 50s, 60s, 70s, and then a little bit of 80s with my mural in the bathing room. Um, and then this is where we bathe the dogs. Cat, Alyssa, say hi. Hi. This is Alyssa and Cat. Um, and this is where we bathe the dogs. This is Alyssa's dog, Ricky Bobby. He's adorable. Oh. Oh, so these ceilings are really high, so I was like, what art can I put in here? And I painted these walls this green, and with the lighting, it just looked really shitty. So I had a mural made. I, I didn't know exactly what I wanted, but I knew I wanted to make it warmer and use the space. So we just made this really cool, fun mural that is very reminiscent of the late 70s. And I found that bird sculpture situation and I just threw it up there and then the room was complete, pretty easy. And the company's called Very Gay Paint and they were just born out of the pandemic a couple, a gay couple, and they just started making murals. And I was like, please come over. And I can't wait to show you the other mural I have of theirs, which is my iconic mushroom mural. Because why shouldn't you feel like you're on an acid trip when you're having your lunch break? So this is the break room. Yeah, Very Gay Paint came and they painted this mural. And the table isn't vintage, but these chairs are. This is actually the other side of my JRG logo that's in the tile on the entryway. I was like, oh, what are you gonna do with the rest of the brass that, you, that was stamped through? And so they let me have that and I just hung it up here. And um, yeah, just my little collection of random things. Everybody loves this fridge. I feel like um, I got the fridge and the microwave, they kind of match. And I needed to find things that were able to fit in this tiny area. So I had to meticulously measure everything so that I could have everything here. This is our Berkey filter. Um, it's a water filter and I love it so much. And yeah, we just, this is our coffee station. We make a ton of coffee. And if you're wondering if I got mushroom shelf paper, the answer would be, hell yeah, I did. I'm obsessed with it. It's my mushroom shelf paper. You ready to see the cat bathroom? Okay, come on. It's just an explosion of cats. I figured why not have a dedicated cat area because there's so many dogs everywhere. So I just went crazy in here. I kind of want to go even more crazy and maybe wallpaper the whole thing wallpaper the ceiling but each little cat I found thrifting eBay all that stuff and I just I love them they watch you when you go to the bathroom it's pretty awesome I just want you to feel like you're you're being kept company when you're going potty thank you so much for coming it's time for me to close the shop I'll see you soon bye